In this tutorial, we are going to see geospatial commands. So, in geospatial command, what we store is we store a location information. We store lat long details of any of the particular location. We say lat long, but if you are aware of all the geometrical aspects or geography, then the details which are been expressed is longitude and then latitude, x and y axis. Okay. So, we'll be storing the data as longitudes and latitudes. So how Redis stores all these informations? So Redis stores all this data in a sorted set. But if you remember that in our previous tutorials, we saw that sorted sets to store the data, we specify scores. Okay, based on the scores, data has been added. So here the scores has been added based on the geo hash generated based on the latitude and longitude information which we provide. So it generates a 52 bit integer value Based on that, the geo hash is generated. Geo hash will be a unique value based on that location. Based on that, data is being stored into the sorted sets. Okay, and the model here is used as a spherical model. The Earth, which has been modelized in Redis, is a sphere. Okay, so all the data which we are storing will have a prone to 0.5% of errors. So make sure uh, of that while using Redis in your application for geospatial data. So let's start adding locations into our Redis. The command here to add the information of the latitude and longitude is geo add. Okay, geo add, and then you need to specify the key. Suppose I'm specifying key as maps. Okay, and then you need to provide longitude and latitude information. Okay, so here are my latitude and longitude information. Uh, so this is the city Ahmedabad. So I'm storing the information longitude and latitude of Ahmedabad city. You can see that the data has been entered. Now let's add some more data for different cities. Okay. We can use pipelining also over here when adding location data. Okay, so this is the command geo add maps using the same key, and I'm adding the longitude and latitude for Mumbai and the same for Bangalore. Okay, so you can see that I have added the data. Let's check the data now to get the data. Right, you can use all these similar sorted set commands. Okay, because the information are stored in sorted sets. So we'll see Z range maps, and we'll provide the start and end index can see that Bangalore, Mumbai and Ahmedabad is added to it. Now I told you right in the starting that all the information are stored based on the geo hash values. Okay. So uh, let's check the geo hash values for the sorted elements. To check the geo hash values, we can see with command geo hash. Okay. And we need to specify the key which is maps and you need to specify the member for which member you need to see the key. Suppose I want to see for Ahmedabad. Okay. You can see that this is the hash key which is been generated now if you are not aware of what geo hash means then you can go to wikipedia and uh, check on geo hash uh, there is also a website called uh, geohash.org that will take geo hash value as an input and, and it will uh, show the location information i can show you that as well you can see geohash.org if you go okay if i specify here my geo hash value then you can see Ahmedabad is being shown over here okay so this way you can check the geo hash values and the coordinates for it okay now getting back to business now we stored our values we got the geo hash values as well okay but what about getting back the values okay so the command to get the values like my longitude and latitude value okay the command is geo pause okay and you need to specify maps that is a your key and you need to specify the member okay that will return your longitude and latitude values which you specified. Now you can see that the values which we are getting here is different than what we have stored, right? Because I told you that earlier it converts into a 52 bit integer and then it's sto storing these values, okay? So there might be a 0.5% of error. So these are the values been stored. You can get this information from here as well. Now we stored three locations, okay? Let's add one more location, okay? I'm adding Pune as well, giving uh, longitude and latitudes for that as well. Now if you see my data, I have four locations okay i have added my latitude longitude now i want to find the distance between those two locations okay that the command to get the distance between two location is geodist okay geodist command and then you need to specify your key and you need to specify the members you can only get distance between two members only not more than that so suppose i want to get the distance between mumbai and pune okay mumbai and pune okay so you can see that you're getting the distance over here. The default unit for the geodist is meters. So you're getting this in meters. Okay. Now, if you want in specific units, you can specify it. If you want in kilometers, 
okay so this is the information in kilometers so there is 120 kilometers of distance between mumbai and pune if you want you can get in miles as well with mi okay so this is the distance between the two cities in miles you can get in meters as well okay so this way you can find the distance between two cities you can specify for others as well you can specify for mumbai and ahmedabad in kilometers okay you can see that it's 441 kilometers now be sure that there might be some of you who will be specifying okay the distance between two cities is not that which we are getting in google maps it won't be because the distance between the two cities which has been calculated by redis is based on the two points so it will be a straight line between the two points and the straight line will be based on the sphere model okay so the distance is calculated on the sphere model between the two points with a straight line so that's how redis calculates the distance between the two locations now i got the distance now i want to find the locations around a particular point okay suppose we can take a scenario like i want to find the restaurants nearby okay so i have my current positions i have all the positions of restaurants as well so i want all the restaurants nearby area suppose 200 meters or maybe 50 meters okay or maybe all the restaurants in the city so all these informations i can get with the help of geo radius command i have all the information stored okay you can see i just stored informations of map you can store all the informations for all the particular restaurants all the different use cases what you have so here what we'll do we will find the cities specified to the location okay within this location within the radius of this location how many cities i'm getting so that information we will find out with geo radius command okay geo radius command and then i need to specify the key which is maps then I need to specify the longitude and latitude information. Okay. Suppose I want to find nearby cities for that particular radius from Ahmedabad. So suppose I will give the latitude and longitude for Ahmedabad. And then I can specify the radius value. So within how many kilometers or meters or feet or miles. You can see all the information you can provide. So I want all the cities within 500 kilometers. Okay. So I am getting two cities which is Ahmedabad and Mumbai. Ahmedabad would be 00, 0 kilometers for sure and Mumbai would be you can see it would be 441 kilometers. So all these informations you are getting from here. If I change my kilometers okay suppose to 1000 kilometers you can see that I am getting more data. Pune is also included in it okay. The same way you can calculate in miles as well okay within 1000 miles of radius. You can see within 1000 miles of radius all the informations all the cities are being included Bangalore, Mumbai, Pune, Ahmedabad okay. Now there are some more keys also we can specify. We can get all the coordinates as well with all, and we can get distance as well. Okay. So for that we need to pass with with coord, right? So you can see that we'll get the coordinates information as well. For Ahmedabad, these are the coordinates. For Bangalore, these are the coordinates. For Mumbai and Pune accordingly. Okay. If you want coordinates as well as distance also, okay. So you need to specify with dist. So you can get the distance as well. For Ahmedabad, this is distance is 0 0.0001 mile. The same for Bangalore, Mumbai and Pune. All the informations you can get. Now there is also one command to get with hash. Okay. So there is one catch over here. Okay. If you do with hash and hoping okay, you will get that geo hash value. Okay. Then you are out of your luck. Because Redis doesn't store that information. So this value would be your 52 bit integer that has been stored for the sorted cell right that value it will be you can see that that integer will be this not your geo hash values okay so for getting geo hash values you are with geo hash commands only good luck with that so this way you can get the informations based on the longitude and latitude for your particular location but what if you want to get data within the radius based on the members which you have already in your key okay so for that the command is Let's clear it out everything first. Okay, so for that the command is geo radius by member. Okay, geo radius by member is a command. Then you need to specify the key which is maps, and then you need to specify a member. Suppose Ahmedabad. Okay, so my point starting point is Ahmedabad, and within that Ahmedabad, I want a radius and that information I want. So I want radius of 500 kilometers. Okay, and then you can see that you will get the information based on the member values. You can always specify 
more information so this information you will get up to feet level okay you can specify feet meters kilometers and miles so within the area and within the use case what you have you can get the information based on this geospatial commands here as well in georadius by member you can specify with chords with dist and with hash values and with this you can also specify how data you want okay by ascending order or by descending order so you can specify dsc to get data in descending orders with the maximum value first so bangalore is the farthest from ahmedabad followed by pune and mumbai and you can change to ascending order as well to get data from the nearest to the ahmedabad followed by mumbai pune and bangalore so these are the details of all the commands that you can use to store your geospatial or geographical values and you can perform your operations and you can use in your use cases so that's been it in this video for geospatial commands and redis